welcome to Vedikas. Uh, on behalf of Vedikas, I would like to welcome you all on this webinar for today's topic, uh, Millet. Uh, about Vedikas, uh, Vedikas was founded in 2015 as an initiative to bring uh, a trustworthy and beneficial knowledge of Ayurvedic healthcare system to the masses, aiming to promote uh, Vedic sciences like Ayurveda, Yoga, Naturopathy all over the world. It has a strong team of gurus, acharyas, Ayurveda acharyas, and healthcare professionals. Uh, Vedika's foundation has been organizing uh, health, uh, health, educational, and welfare programs. Uh, also, given the uh, importance towards the women and children healthcare. So, uh, on today's uh, session, I will, we have uh, three eminent speakers. On today's uh, topic, first, I would like to welcome Mr. Darshan Picha. He has completed his BBA from BYK College of Commerce. Currently, he is a partner in Ohm Industries, known for Mr. Millet. Our second speaker, Ms. Monal Salunke, she has done interior designing from KK Vag Polytechnic College, Nasik. She is also the director of Salunke Automation Private Limited and also a partner of Mr. Millet. So, let me introduce Dr. Kapadia, ma'am. Uh, she has completed her BMS from Ayurveda Medical. Uh, she has completed her BMS from Maharashtra University of Health Science. Uh, also, she has done her diploma in Ayurveda Gynecology and Obstetrics. Uh, she has done fellowship in Ayurveda Cosmetology and Trichology. Also, uh, from uh, has done fellowship in Ayurveda Lifestyle Management from International Education Board of Ayurveda. Uh, welcome, you, ma'am. Uh, Shall we start uh, the okay. today's session? So, uh, let's start with Mr. Darshan Pichar. Hello everyone. Namaste. Myself Darshan. Uh, thank you for your introduction. Thank you Vedikas for uh, giving this wonderful opportunity to introduce this wonderful to the people from this platform. So guys, I believe today we are gathered here for to create a world by discussing uh, understanding millets in right way some of you may know about millets very well or some of you may not so here we are going to uh, give you all the brief important uh, important information about the uh, millets and i am not going to talk about unhealthy lifestyle of people or increasing ratio of diseases i am going to talk about the solution for the same so solution is the millet the guidance uh, with the guidance of the doctors with right consumption of millets according to your health pyramids you can improve your uh, health with no harm first let's uh, let's know about the millets uh, millets and its crops let me introduce millets so here we are going to introduce millets millets are believed to be the first domestical cereal grain First cultivated in Asia more than 10,000 years ago. They are small seeded hard crops. Millets are integral part of, tradi uh, of our tradition, culture and indigenous knowledge. Millets can transform local uh, agri-food system for better production, better nutrition, uh, better environment and better life, leaving no one behind. Millets are good for ecology system. We'll talk about this in some time. So, there are two types of millets. We are showing it in uh, this uh, PPT. The uh, first one is the major millets and other one is uh, minor millets. Major millets are sorghum millet, pearl millet, finger millet. And minor millets are uh, little millet, foxtail millet, kodo millet, proso millet, barnyard millet and brown top millets. Major millets are called as neutral grains and minor millets are called as positive grain. As per the studies, minor millets has more health benefits than major millets. That's why minor millets called as positive millets. Minor millets are uh, not very popular compared to uh, these major millets like pearl, sorghum or uh, finger millets. They, they are very popular. Nowadays, millets are again gaining its movement and people are like us bringing more awareness of it by educating people about millet. Uh, let's, let's understand uh, why we should consume uh, or include millets in our uh, diet 
for our better health or lifestyle so millets are the power house of uh, nutrients millets uh, de- detoxifies the uh, body and improves our colon health good for heart health and uh, body strengthening boosts our uh, energy level improves the uh, function of our gut rich in dietary fiber helps in regulating bowel function blood sugar and lipids reduces cancer risk prevents uh, type 2 diabetes uh, lowers bad uh, cholesterol millets are uh, sustainable crops can survive in extreme harsh climate are drought resilient and can uh, grow in uh, low fertile land here are some interesting uh, facts about uh, millets other than the uh, that they are gluten free uh, highly nutritious millet needs very little water for their production short growing period under uh, dry and high temperature uh, conditions and that's why in india uh, africa uh, asia millets are more popular millets also uh, not require rich soil for growth no millets attracts any pest and uh, they don't need uh, fertilizer they are uh, pest free so let's uh, see the water usage of other grains and millets the researchers found that replacing rice and wheat uh, with millets could reduce irrigate, uh, irrigation water demand by almost 33% for the production of 1 kg rice uh, we need 8000 liter of uh, water and uh, means it means uh, from production cultivation and till reaches your plate it takes 8000 liter of water and uh, on other uh, other side for 1 kg millet it needs 300 liter water for the same process this ppt will uh, let you know how it works this is why uh, these crops are also called as uh, sustainable crops this will repair uh, our ecosystem to help this planet in wonder way and this important awareness and information is needed to be shared with world in right way from all of us this year we are uh, celebrating international year of millet the indian government uh, brought the proposal to the proposal for international year of millet which was accepted by uh, united nation Gen- uh, general assembly and our prime minister narendra modi has also shared uh, his video a uh, vision to make a uh, international year of millet 2023 uh, people's movement miss monal will tell you it uh, means each type of millets and their benefits hello everyone yeah so uh, uh, as mr darshan said millets has very much uh, highly nutritional values and uh, uh, lots of benefits we can uh, take from the millets so there are the uh, two types of millets major millets and minor millets So, as you can say the uh, see the major millets sorghum pearl and finger we called as uh, it uh, jowar bajra and ragi uh, sorghum millets has uh, also each millets each millets are 3 to 5 nutritional superior to rice and wheat in terms of proteins minerals and vitamins millets are rich in a b uh, vitamins calcium iron potassium magnesium zinc gluten free and has low glycemic uh, index those millets are suitable for people al- uh, people allergies intolerance of wheat also for diabetic and weight loss sorghum is uh, has a uh, control blood sugar level sorghum uh, helps with the control uh, sugar level sorghum is another one of the ancient cereal grain and grown mostly of their fodder value sorghum has high nutritional value with high levels of under under saturated fats proteins fibers and minerals like phosphorus potassium calcium and iron it's also high in calories and micro nutrients jowar has more antioxidant than uh, blueberries and pomegranates sorghum helps to improve metabolism uh, it's also gluten free the second uh, type of major millets is pearl it's called bajra pearl millets is the most widely grown type of millet and india in uh, and india is largest producer of pearl millet india is the largest producer of pearl millet pearl millet is a rich source of phosphorus which tie, uh, plays an important part in the structure of body cells consumption of uh, pearl millets uh, helps in uh, minimizing the risk of type 2 diabetes being a good source of magnesium 
Millets are as a cofactor in a number of enzymatic reactions. And third is the finger millet, uh, as uh, known as Nachini, Ragi, and Nagli in Mar- Marathi. It's uh, very high in iron. Uh, also, African. Uh, also it called african finger millet red millet very popular millet especially in southern india it is rich in calcium and protein and also have good amount of iron and other minerals ragi tops in antioxidant activity along common indian foods ragi also has some good number of essential amino acids which are essential for human body these are the major millets uh, health benefits in this uh, time uh, people are uh, knows about the uh, major millet and now we are talking about the minor millet here is the one type of minor millets is little millet little millet seeds are smaller than uh, other millets like foxtail millets uh, little millets also high in iron content uh, high in fiber like kodo and has uh, antioxidant activities helps in diabetes and disease related stomach as you can see it's gluten free uh, it's antioxidant low glycemic index improves heart health uh, i i will say we are with the help of the doctors and the guidance of the doctors you should consume it in right way uh, this is the research and second minor millet type is barnyard millet it's low in calories gluten free again it has phosphorus and calcium barnyard has a low glycemic index and uh, the uh, type 2 diabetes uh, can uh, improve uh, by it cardiovascular or uh, vascular disease with regular intake of this millet uh, will help uh, a lot next one is kodo millet kodo millet contains high amounts of polyphenols and active i think that on this stage uh, uh, mona is not going to connect soon then we'll move to Vedia Fatima Kapadia ma'am. Hello everyone, so nice to see you. Hello everyone. Hello. Good, good evening. Hello. So I think Monal got disconnected in between there might be some issue. Mm. Can you please start your uh, presentation because I think it's an amazing one. Yeah, sure. I'll I want to share my Thank screen. You. Just yeah. hold on. Okay. So before we start about the millets and before we talk about millets Let me start to use some data and facts. In 2021, the entire Indian budget was 470 billion dollar, and only on diabetic care, the world expenditure was 960 billion dollar. That is just the double of the Indian budget. Out of the population, 25 percent of our population is suffering from diabetes, 40 percent from obesity and high BP, and 30 to 35 percent from PCOD, hypothyroid, and cancer, which are so-called the lifestyle-oriented uh, disease. Now, WHO has stated that in the next 20 to 25 years, all these d- numbers will become double. So basically, the onset of this disease has decreased. Earlier, the disease used to start at the age of 50 to 60. but now at the age of 30 miss 30 the disease starts happening in our body this is because of the lifestyle problem and wrong food habits now wrong food habits causes low metabolic activity in our body which leads to ama now ayurveda first principle says that you have to maintain a healthy lifestyle that happens due to the balanced diet now acharya charak has told us 12 groups of diet out of which the first group is the kudanya or shudra dhanya which we call as millets already monal and darshan has explained to us about the millets and the nutritional facts actually it was going on but it got interrupted so today we will see according to ayurveda what millets are so millets are that group of grass they are produced uh, uh, like a plant they are small seeded cereals and they are cultivated over 10000 years ago now it is coming from the era of ramayan mahabharat to vedic period also with that the qualities of millet according to ayurveda so i'm going to talk about their 
guna according to ayurveda so in taste millets are sweet and astringent and once it is digested it is pungent it is called katu in ayurveda and their potency is sheetha that is cold it is dry and lighter okay so it's little lagu and ruksha i'm going to explain you on the screen you will see all the ayurvedic terminology fine so its action on the bodies are it has a scraping effect it removes all the excess of fluid from the body it pacifies kapha from the body it is constipating in nature and on the tri dosha that body is made up of what ayurveda believes in so it increases vata and balances vata pitta and rakta so according to ayurveda there are this list of millets so in this if we see ayurveda has given importance to minor millets as told by darshan that minor millets are very nutrition so ayurveda has spoken about them a lot so ayurveda has given their qualities and how it is benefited in some of the diseases so the first millet is the fox tail millet it is called as kangu it is guru sangrahi bruhan soshan now see the indication i'll explain you how it is going to help you according to the disease so if anybody who is suffering from diarrhea or ibs they should include fox tail millet in their food because it has the quality of sangrai that is it absorbs the excess fluid and gives the formation to the feces and enhances the digestion fine now those who are obese or has diabetes mellitus should also include in their food because it scrapes up the excess moisture and it nourishes your muscle tissue which is required to balance your health now there are some more uh, more benefits like it facilitates the fracture healing skin problems also now coming to the second one branyard millet again branyard millet is sangrahi and datu shoshak so seeing the indication again sangrahi is for ibs and diarrhea and now the word santarpa janyavadi is used santarpa janyavadi means the disease which are due to over nourishment in the body now the disease are obesity diabetes mellitus cholesterol uh, triglycerides and cardiovascular disease so this millet also has the quality to scrape off the excess moisture from the body so even there has been a research on the branyard millet rice that because of its low glycemic index it is shown that it has control diabetes mellitus so you can include in your lifestyle now coming to the third millet that is the kodo millet now kodo millet taste is sweet and bitter it is again guru parangrai vishara avrishya and it is the best for the wound i'll explain you how now parangrai means it again absorbs the excess of fluid and helps in the normal uh, formation of the stool now in the wound process also you we see lots of pus coming out so if you have included millet in your diet you will see your wound healing getting faster but medicines are essential along with the diet now coming again it is useful in obesity diabetes mellitus and medo rog medo rog are the, those diseases that has excessive lipids now we can call it cholesterol and cardiovascular disease and triglycerides now uh, kodo millet research have been done and it has been seen that those who eat kodo millet they have been uh, seen helping preventing cardiovascular disease coming to porso millet now all this kodo millet porso millet they are all little millets uh, they are the minor millets as said by monal and darshan fine right? so they have more nutrition value and that is described in our uh, granth so porso millet is called as chinak so this is heavy to digest difficult to digest it nourishes the body and it promotes the fracture healing coming to the indication again this millet is helpful in obesity diabetes mellitus cholesterol triglycerides 
okay this is all not mentioned in the slide because it's written in medo ro just for you understanding i'm saying all the diseases name fine so it promotes fracture healing and again it has been seen that corso millet increases hdl level and helps preventing coronary heart heart disease development so you can include even those who have been detected with uh, high cholesterol can start including corso millet coming to nartaki that's the finger millet also called as ragi the taste of the ragi is bitter sweet and astringent this is cold in potency it is uncautious and promotes strength and aphrodisiac now coming to the indication since it is cold in potency and having the bitter and sweet taste this will help in giving you good result with the medicine in bleeding disorders gastric disturbance and skin disease so lifestyle changes helps you with the medicine to get you better result in a quicker time always okay so this is also said as but uh, gives more energy so those who feel lack of energy can introduce in their lifestyle now because of its uh, bitter and astringent in taste it helps in obesity and diabetes mellitus now there has been three researches done on this millet so it has a anti obesity property it also works good for controlling sugar in non insulin dependent diabetes mellitus and even finger millet has been the storehouse of nutrition once you start consuming you feel really energetic coming to this millet known as adle millet so after i spoke to darshan he told me that this millet is not available everywhere this is an himalayan millet so even if somebody gets it and they want to consume it so you can consume it because the quality of this millet is it imparts weight loss it is again sangrahi so it is going to help you for obesity diabetes mellitus and all that disease that is related to kapha like if you have swelling in the body in the morning when you get up you feel puffiness so you can include this millet in your daily diet now coming to the last millet according to ayurveda that is sorghum we call it jwari in india so this sorghum has the quality of avrishya ruchya trishagna kledagna and it is bitter and astringent taste when i talk about bitter and astringent in taste it is again helping you for your obesity and diabetes mellitus now it in general the quality of millets are they pacify the pitta so along with the medicine bleeding disorder and um, uh, gastric disturbance can be tackled with your lifestyle so once your medicines are over and you still don't want your disease to come back then change your lifestyle switch to millets okay now one thing we need to remember that in general millets are helpful for those who are obese who has diabetes mellitus who has disease which has excessive lipids like cholesterol triglycerides those who get frequent wounds or those who have uh, type 2 diabetes complication they can include millets in their lifestyle and those who get frequent diarrhea and those who are suffering from ibs but ayurveda always says one thing about the millets that okay ayurveda depends upon one thing agni bala that is the digestive capacity of the individual it says millets are very heavy and they are dry in nature so if one wants to consume they have to consume according to their digestion okay they are also dry and they are again heavy they are again dry and they are heavy so they are not supposed to be used those who are having pain those who have arthritis and they are underweight because it will not get digest properly those who have indigestion those who have weak metabolism 
and those who do not feel at all proper they are supposed to use the millet with the spices that uh, ease the digestion like you can add cumin curry leaves mustard seed asafoetida and soak the millets for 6 to 8 hours then only millets can be consumed in those pa- patient who can easily then digest it okay now millets can be used in lots of preparation so you have to choose that preparation which is suitable for both the patient the rogi and the disease the roga and that will give out the best health benefit out of the millets and in my practice i always say my to my patient one thing always use your food like a medicine so that you don't have to take medicine as a food and always change your lifestyle when it when you start getting any kind of diseases in your lifestyle because sometimes you t- tend to take certain things in excess which is not good for any body in excess even taking millets is going to cause you harm and ayurveda has not prescribed millets in nitya sevanya ahar the foods that is used regularly so you have to use millets accordingly and proportionately and it will give you the best results so if you feel that now your body is in kind of getting diseased oriented so see the way your lifestyle has been changed or you need your body is telling please change the lifestyle so always listen to your body first that's all i am handing over to ofra thank you thank you so much so is it safe to say that uh, actually consuming millet gives us uh, to do, especially to those who are vegetarian it gives us all the supplements like uh, vitamins uh, like multivitamins instead of taking it you know from the shop without understanding what we're taking so millets are actually multivitamins including all the b group yes yes they are multivitamins they are actually rich in high fiber and protein and they have l- very less carbohydrates so definitely they can start including in their lifestyle so twice a week and each time to change the millet type see now everybody is going to show up the different way they can start initially the way they want to mixing it with different kind of vegetables right they can soak it they can make it like a uh, we call it upma in indian we call it upma so they can make it like upma and they can have it surely they are supposed to use cow ghee so that it can give them benefit of it if anyone from uh, our nice audience here want to ask a question please you can unmute yourself because i think that dr pooja and i we have many questions Yes ma'am I have one question oh, please do please uh ma'am uh, uh, in ayurveda uh, like we have heard of yavak yav is uh, for hit like it has it's a one of the best uh, herbs hum log kehte hain ki um yav aur yavak yavak ahit ho jata hai aur aur yav hamare liye hitkari hai so does that little minerals come into yavak or it comes in yeah no wait dr fatima please unmute and please if you can translate to english dr puja's uh, uh, question yeah. it's good that we have hindi that is the purpose do you want to translate your uh, question to english uh yes ma'am uh, i can please, uh ma'am uh, we have sorry there was an internet issue yes ma'am That's according okay. to acharya uh, he talked about two things hit and ahit means one has to be given and one should not be given so they have yeah so there are two things ma'am yav and yavag so yav is said to be to given matlab it's it's a one of the best thing to give yav is yavag is lapsi lapsi that is a broken meat okay ma'am okay so broken meat also can be eaten 
at least once a week only see i'm uh, into practice of no wheat <laughs> okay so still if somebody wants to include wheat in their diet so yavak that is a broken wheat now that is a gluten free also because once it is transformed into a flour it adds gluten in the uh, wheat okay ma'am so that is yeah something, uh, this won't con- comes in little millet right like what we are i don't know it will not come in little millet okay. uh, so you don't know you are saying about the minor millets Haan, not no, little millet yes ma'am. little millet itself it's a millet okay okay ma'am thank you thank you for yeah. that about about people who have those days uh many people have some gastric disorder like a lot of diarrhea due to lifestyle and a lot of uh thinking issues what would you recommend how would you recommend this as a uh internal healing uh regime like we have ulcers we have people that have diarrhea how would you recommend them to before they got come to see a vedya what will be the first step and the first choice of millet that they will take see uh 5 to 6 years uh before 5 to 6 years i had seen lots of patient of ibs especially from dubai okay because because of consuming lots of burgers and everything your intestine gets irritated and it gives you the sign to change the mill uh, to change the food your lifestyle for that reason you can always start with sorghum hmm because sorghum has the taste of tikta and astringent so definitely it will give you very good result in enhancing your digestion and then you can switch slowly slowly to foxtail millet or uh, porso millet whichever is available so minor millets sometimes are difficult for availabilities also but we have friends but now we have friends we have uh, we have darshan and we have mona yes so we, we have darshan and mona now so they are going to make us available very soon right about when to eat the millet is it important like the time of the day when when are we consuming it see always when you are starting with a new food for your body you should start from either breakfast or lunch so you will get an idea how the body is getting digested and you will see the result automatically because if you in case take the new food in night so after you eat the food either when one hour or two hour you go to sleep so the entire digestion process goes and work for the sleep process so your digestion do not work that well so but when you are awake in the morning the digestion is always the better there is a pitta kal for that right so you have to consume food a new food especially in the morning or breakfast okay could you there are some things in the chat would you like yes, to address there is one question Please. from manisha and she yeah. asked like uh, if we have vata constitution with little high pitta and stay constipated which millet would you recommend ma'am what uh, when eating wheat i notice it makes uh, symptoms worse the vata symptoms worse ma'am that's her question uh, uh okay you repeat the question two phase see first she said she has little vata and then she has pitta also right yes ma'am hmm. and she is constipated so for that reason she has to supposed to start with uh finger millet that is the ragi but in a very less proportion because uh again millets are constipating in nature so she is supposed to take some herbs to relieve her constipation so finger millet that is the ragi will ease her pitta it will pacify her pitta so once the pitta is pacified and she can correct her vata and now for vata always millets are supposed to be eaten with the ghee and with the other spices that ease the vata fine yes, so mm-hmm. she can start initially with finger uh, the ragi millet ha huh? and then slowly slowly see how her body responds and then she can add millet in her food <laughs> and definitely gluten wheat will 
definitely affect her intestine so she is first supposed to stop wheat completely either take lots of vegetables and very little of the millet and then come to the proportion where millet and vegetable can be equally eaten so what actually you are saying go and see a vedya and don't get any kind of this um uh, like uh, advice Now, it's a general advice and you should see a vedya that will adjust your uh, menu and will give you lifestyle uh, advices and then it will be a complete healing uh yes ofra if even you don't want to see a vedya study your body completely first understand your own body right because nowadays it's a google time so people study themselves sitting at home so if you feel this food is harming you to stop that food replace it with some kind of millet and then proceed further now see millets are not that harmful but you have to eat according to your digestion first thing right dr rashmi yes dr rashmi uh, jitpur she asked uh, they asked what is ambali i couldn't get you sorry what is ambali ambali it's a porridge Um, okay thank you darshan um, we, we, we will share we will share uh, later on uh, on the blog we will share with you some recipes of how to consume how to soak how to prepare uh, and i think that uh, one of the things that we didn't uh, really related to is uh, desha that means uh, the, the place that you live in and what kind of millet to consume and the place that you live in and i think that we have people who lives in europe here and they should consume uh, other kinds of millet who are available for them oh, where they are going, where they live like uh, sorghum is very available in europe and there are things that you would la- will have to uh, import from india most of the millet types that uh, darshan and monal were talking about are available in india only and they are very different from what we see these days like uh, quinoa is different amaranth is different and we can find them very easily but their effect on the body will be a bit different from from what we are talking here about so this is why i highly recommend you to get an advice personally and not just you know to someone who knows you and then you can have a very fast healing and nourishing nourishing is the most important thing that we can have here okay thank you so much dr fatima i know that your passion is panchakarma and i hope to see you again here with more talks about ayurveda you're on mute yes sure i'll come up again and i'll surely prepare recipes also and mm. because i have the habit of prescribing recipes to my patient because okay. in my practice i actually treat people with 50% of diet and 50% only medicines because lifestyle is only important nowadays and since the topic millets have come which is my favorite topic also so definitely any questions in future also you get about millets come to me i'll surely justify it and even about the recipes if somebody needs help i'm always there amazing thank you so much for being such a wonderful teacher and so accessible and very easy to uh, get engaged with so a lot of gratitude thank you namita for sharing and uh, i hope to see you all soon uh, our next episode is going to be about high blood pressure and now you know one of the pathways to get rid of high blood pressure Uh, it's millet and we'll have more talks about millet thank you dr pooja for thank hosting. you ma'am yeah thank you vedikas uh, uh, for conducting a very good webinar and inviting um uh, ms darshan picha ms monal salanke and dr fatima ma'am uh, would like you to uh, see you again uh, thank you ma'am thank you all thank you thank, thank you. you everyone thank you